Our next speaker is running in uh, CD7 here in uh, Maryland. Uh, he's an agent of positive change, an American patriot, believer in the power of prayer, believer of divine intervention. He's the founder of Dundalk TV and of the Global Brain Injury Association. He's a businessman, photographer, videographer, documentarian, filmmaker, historian, an inventor, an environmentalist, life member of the Dundalk Historical Society, a YouTuber, a rumbler, community advocate, humanitarian, disability advocate, senior citizen advocate, and volunteer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome running in Congressional District 7 in Maryland, Scott Collier. Ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be invited to this event, and thank you very much, uh, Sean, for inviting me. And um, it's nice to see so many Patriots out here today. And um, the Patriots of America need to learn how to work together. Uh, I've asked two local business people if they'd be kind enough to put my sign up in their business location, and they said, oh, well, I'm really sorry, I can't do that, but I'd be happy to put it up at my house. And I said, well, I'm looking for a high traffic area, and your house is not the area that I want. So, so what is happening is, unfortunately, there's so many businesses out there, and, and I've been going through this. I've been running for uh, public office since 2014. I've heard a lot of things that are happening that if your opponent is in the area and he's in um, holding office at that time that they will send out the code enforcement and that, that your sign will be taken down and the business owners are afraid. They don't want to come forward. If you own uh, a liquor store, they come in and say that there's something wrong with your equipment. That could cost you $50,000 uh, quickly. So, um, and, and, that's, and that's a shame, but these, these um, business owners don't want us to put signs up. Now, I think that what they should do is tell them, well, if you don't like the way that I think and you want to take away my First Amendment right, there's the door. So do you think, does anybody here think that if if the uh, liberals were out there and some somebody like myself or any of you went up and said, hey, look, I don't really like the sign that you have out in front of your business. If not, I'm not coming back. They would laugh in your face and probably put up 10 more signs. And we, we need to take this fight to them. Uh, they, they are actually intimidating us and bullying us into doing what they want us to do. And that needs to be, that needs to stop. Now, I hope Pat McDonald didn't get too far. As a matter of fact, I've seen him because uh, I am a patriot and I fight with the patriots and I've had the pleasure, and the papers are blowing around all up here right now. Um, I've had the pleasure of being involved in fights that Pat McDonald's been in. And it's been an absolute pleasure uh, to be involved with Pat. And Pat is one of the few people that I've met that when I met him and was doing something about Rick Fletcher, I don't know if any of these guys know about that horrible situation. And Rick has just passed and spoke to his wife. Um, he was the gentleman that was jumped in Dundalk by about 60 people, nearly killed. Um, but uh, Pat, Pat did an interview with me that day. Pat, would you please come to the stage? Okay, Pat's coming now. So Dundalk TV has had the American and Patriot Award, and um, we're bestowing that to Pat McDonough uh, this year. And the American Patriot Award says, Dundalk TV and the Global Brain Injury Association proudly bestow Pat McDonough with DTV's American and Patriot Award for his decades of accomplishments on behalf of Maryland residents. Pat has been selected for our highest honor because of his selfless desire to help improve the lives of so many Americans. Thankfully, Pat has given the voiceless a much needed voice when they needed it most. Pat Super Citizen Platform, Citizens and Police Partners, his firefighters group, as well as his 9-11 flag waving event, have all been huge successes. Moreover, his amazing leadership as a member of the House of Delegates for 20 years was an instrumental aspect in stopping the rain tax, fighting crime, defending the Second Amendment, and so much more. This incredible American patriot is without a doubt the Donald Trump and Rush Limbaugh of Maryland. 
when many when many of when many may have justifiably retired and walked away from public life, Pat continues to valiantly fight for what is right. This award, this award is also proudly extended to Pat's biggest supporter and most enthusiastic cheerleader of them all, his lovely wife, Valerie McDonough. Valerie is the glue that has always kept him moving in the right direction, and she has done so much to improve the lives of so many Marylanders as well. God bless America and all of her American patriots. May God bless you, Pat and Valerie, with continued success, because you were two of the finest American patriots I have ever known. Pat, there is no, sorry, not this year. But thank you very much, Pat. And uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be right with you on this energy watchdog group. Okay, so. <clears throat> thank you, Scott. Well, thank you, Valerie. God bless you. Thank you. So, on my sign it says "Working Together for Real Solutions," and that's what we need to do. Uh, in my community of Dundalk, unfortunately, I've run across I've run across so many people there in the community that kind of want to steer things in their own direction and that 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 um that gets in the way of getting things done so i've been telling people for years to roll up their sleeves leave their ego at the door and let's get down to business but unfortunately we haven't been able to do that yet but hopefully as the congressman of district seven if i'm blessed enough to win I will be able to bring these people together and show them how we can get this stuff done how they can all have a voice my dundalk tv uh, platform actually i go out and interview anybody that has a problem in the community anybody that needs a voice so um you know no copycat off of pat i didn't know pat when i started this but you know i wanted to give the people a voice i, I knew that what i went through um, you heard the global brain injury association i suffered a brain injury back in 2007 and I couldn't remember pass the low or take down a telephone number. So um, I made a deal with God that, God, if you help me get back on my feet and get out there, I'm going to help anybody I can every day. And that is my mission every day is to help whoever I can that needs help. So um, I know that there's a lot of problems with the – thank you. I know that there's problems with the economy. I know that we have problems with the war and things of that nature. I, I kind of go in a different direction. Um, I'm worried about our children. I, I, our, our kids, oh my God, I just can't even believe. I think about when I was a kid and I could not even imagine being a kid in today's world, going to school, having your teachers trying to brainwash you, trying to trying to force you into um, thinking about being uh, uh, becoming a transgender um, uh, individual uh, just absolutely horrifying so we need to take care of our children and we need to make sure that they have a future and i want to do that i want to go into the communities get rid of the uh, crime which now we have all kinds of gangs in there so and i'm a person that's right out on the street i've been jumped before i was nearly murdered down at fort mchenry when pence was down there being nominated uh, black lives matter came in and 40 to 50 people jumped me and tried to kill me that night I was very lucky that the Secret Service jumped in and also the Baltimore City Police. I was out on the street the next day doing what I do. I was attacked another time in Dundalk. I was out on the street the next day. So, um, you know, we, we have a gentleman, uh, uh, Donald Trump. He's back out there. He's not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I've said for years they will have to kill me to shut me up. Do not let these people take our voices away from us because once they do, it is over. So I hope that... Everybody who lives in the district, including Todd and his wife and his family, uh, who is from Dundalk, a great guy, does so much uh, wonderful things in the community for uh, Parks and Recs. I'm glad to see you here today, and I was glad to see my friend uh, Steve Smith here and Chris Anderson as well. Um, I had a nice little chat with um, Rob Carlson, uh, Carson too, and um, uh, and that was about that was about the um, that I want to see that our country starts taking stock in America. And what that does is takes, it takes the power away from the federal government and puts it back in our hands as our founding fathers wanted us to do. So when it comes to, that's the, um,
Social Security, instead of letting them handle all that money and pushing it around here and there, actually you'll have some kind of bank account where you'll be able to follow that, track it, and make sure it's together. Now, it's going to be there for your retirement, but also you're going to be investing in America. So not only money that if you're working is going into there, also money that because you are invested in America, you're going to get some kind of um, profit sharing and things of that nature from from this organization and I, I really think that Donald Trump needs to reach out to these um, whistleblowers that are from the FBI we have the one gentleman that was from the army he needs to hire them to do his security they can be on the outer perimeter they don't have to be on the inside perimeter but they know how to carry the guns they could protect him and guess what the last thing I want to see is Donald Trump murdered and i would like to thank everybody for coming out today i would thank you for your time god bless america and all of our patriots like you my friends scott collier ladies and gentlemen working uh, running in cd7 and all these congressional candidates need your help, volunteers.